Hello, hello, and welcome back to In the Studio with Ophelia. I'm Ophelia, and thank you all so much for joining me today. By the time this video airs, I will be on spring break. It is, thankfully, spring break season. I am off from school for a full week, and in the morning, I will hit the road and head down to Florida. I'm so excited because I need the break and I wanted you guys to pack with me and see what's in my art travel bag. I want you to think of it this way. Uh, I'm gonna put this down for a moment. I will be leaving tomorrow for about 10 days. I head down to Orlando for about, what is, I don't even know what tomorrow is, but I head down to Orlando for some art stuff where I will be at NAMTA and then on, my son just moved to Tampa and he has a real job because he graduated college now. And so I will head over to Tampa to visit with him um, while at NAMTA. And then on Thursday, I will leave Tampa, Orlando and head over to Atlanta where my husband and my daughter will meet me for my daughter's volleyball tournament. And so I will be away for quite a while um, and lit there will be some downtime where I will have all of this stuffage um, like either in hotel rooms or with my son or just whatever. And so um, I always pack, I guess, depending on where I'm going, how long I'm going for, what I really will need. I'll go ahead and be up front and just say, I always overpack. I would, heavens forbid, Ophelia will need to go buy an art supply. I mean, you know what I mean. And so I literally will, I'd rather have more than what I need than not have what I need. So, um, because I'm driving, it's a little bit different than flying. Or um, what, even if you are heading out to like, the weather's nice, so you head out to Urban Sketch or whatever. Um, I literally just always take my art bag with me wherever I go. That's, that's usually, what this all boils down to, even if it's a book bag in the back seat of my car when I head off on the weekends, or if I'm flying, my bag would look a little bit different than this bag. Um, but I just personally always have some sort of a, a art bag, something, art supplies with me whenever I hit the road to go anywhere. <laughs> and so let us have a look at what's in the bag. I will make sure to um, leave all of the materials that I talk about and supplies that I talk about. I will link them down in the description box. And I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up definitely share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button. Um, <clears throat> I don't know of many people literally going outside, right? Our pollen is so thick right now. It's absurd. And that's this <clears throat> situation. So um, leave in the comments below things that you love to take with you while going away. Um, if you do like to urban sketch, pretty much I just kind of have in mind what I'm going to be working on. And so 
in hotel rooms, I might have my journal and some watercolor. Um, I know I've got to test some papers, so I've got that kind of stuff. Um, this is not one of the trips where I bring like um, paint or anything like that. There have been times when I needed to get some painting type things done. Um, this will be watercolor color pencil marker kind of thing. So, so that this won't be a 44 hour video, I shall stop talking, flip the camera around and get into what's in my art bag. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. So I'm packing maybe a little bit heavier than say if I were backpacking or flying and I'll show you a different bag I have for that one. But um, this trusty, worn and loved, it's a Soho bag. Um, I like it because it is very, very spacious inside. I've got these two compartments and when I say literally, I've used this thing to death. So I've got one compartment that's open and then another compartment that has a zipper and then the entire thing um, zips here so that everything is neat and compact. And so this is going to be what I will be carrying with me um, for, you know, some downtime in my hotel room and I don't know I just always like to carry my art supplies with me when I'm on the road just because so this is going to be the bag that I'm taking and I'm going to show you guys everything that's about to go in it first things first is I have this pencil pouch um I really wish I'm going to try to find exactly where I got this guy from um, but I just, I like that it's, um, compartment, com it has lots of compartments. And so, um, up front here, I've got my scissors. Um, I usually just tuck my paint brushes right into this front pocket because it's nice and deep. And again, it'll be sitting in my bag, so I won't have to worry about anything being crushed or damaged. So I'm taking this, um, I just recently started playing with these Mimic, um, they're by Creative Mark, and um, it's like the Mimic Squirrel, but I love that they really do hold a nice amount of water. So I'm taking along a number 10 size and a number 8 size, as well as this Creative Mark, and it's a Harmony Squirrel Cool Brush and a number 2. So I'm going to take these guys also in this front pocket. And um, I'm going to explain this a little bit later because then you guys will see that, wow. But um, here's some more of them and I'll explain it in just a moment. But there's, I love to just kind of keep all kinds of stuff tucked into this pocket for like um, ephemera bits for my journal and stickers and such like that. Um, I also keep a ruler here. Um, I like this because I love to kind of tear off the edges of page with a ruler and I have another smaller metal one with a, a cork back that I might exchange um, for this but um, in my sketchbook or such like that if I need to um, map something out or just rip edges I always keep this little tiny ruler here and so that's what's kind of in this front pouch or what goes in the front pouch and then when we open it up, there's a little zipper portion here, which I keep some, um, it's a Creative Mark blending stump. And this guy is mainly for graphite. So that's why um, here I've got like this blending stump. I've also got back here some uh, washi tapes, which goes with this and I'll explain it all later. Um, and just some other stuff in here, like a, a white, it's by Derwent, and it's one of their um, fine liners or paint, it's called a line painter, so it's almost like a white gel pen, but it's like a pink pen. Um, so this guy stays in here, and I'm just going to move that for a minute. And then 
I've got a glue stick, an eraser. I am going to move these guys. These are fine liners by um, Marabou. And I literally like to have these on hand just to add like um, color and such like that in my journals. Um, so actually, of course, I have another pencil pouch and this guy is for color and markers and such like that. So I'm gonna tuck this in here. But in this bag still, it's just mainly graphite and like my um, fine liner pens. Um, so I've got some creative mark pencils and I'm just gonna, I debated on it, but I think I'm just gonna keep them out of the tin. Um, again, if I were flying, I would, and hold please, and the tin is right here. If I were flying, it would, you know, definitely, I don't need the actual tin. I could just, um, I could unload things in here. But since I still have a lot more space, I think I'm just going to unload everything in the tin here. Um, but some fine liners, some erasers. I've got a kneaded eraser and um, extra leads, H leads for my clutch pencils, which I'd quite a few, um, some little small erasers, and these are like, uh, paper mate ones, and I believe, now that I'm thinking about it, Tombow makes a really nice, oh wait, here it is, um, Tombow Mono Zero, they make a really nice fine eraser to be able to get into, um, like, or get into details. So I think I'll switch out one of these and have my Tombow with me. Um, so that is what kind of mainly sits in here, just graphite related materials and some fine liners. And so I shall put all of this back. Um, and sit that guy. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to take the case along because then it's just extra baggage. But um, something else, and I've had these for quite a while. And this is a, it's like a little Derwent pencil. It's not even a full pencil pouch. It's just uh, like a pencil wallet or something. I can't remember what they call it. And I also have the tin for this handy. Um, these Kohanoor, they're Tritone pencils. Um, I've had these for a while and I've literally never really played with them like I should. Um, but each pencil, and I'm going to find one that's a little more pronounced. Each pencil has three different color leads. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to just experiment with these guys. So, um, I took them out of this tin and kind of put them into this to just make it a little bit more compact. So I'm taking that. And we already saw this, so I'll just kind of show us again. I've had this thing, and it's one of, it's a utility pouch. Oh, a Delphonics. That's, I can't even remember where I got it. But I've had this guy for a while, while. Um, I just love the pockets. And, of course, there's like so many different places to store things, but there's some regular, uh, this is 0.5 HB pencil lead for like a regular mechanical pencil. There's some pockets in here that, which I usually don't have anything, but this is where I kind of keep my color type markers and fine liners and such like that for journaling. So I've got some of these Ooh, I'm probably going to butcher this name, but these are, they're the Tombow, and it's the Fuda, Fudanisuki markers. I've also got some Stabilo 0.88 fine liners, um, and then the Marabou fine liners, and these are their color graphics. So I've got these. I also keep in here like some um, Stabilo Boss highlighters because I just love, I think it's kind of fun to add these to my sketchbook pages and such like that. 
Um, and another thing that I found, which I'm kind of excited about, and I've been using these in my sketchbooks and journals as well, but these are the Creative Inspirations, and it's their gel pens. It's like a really nice, thick line of glittery gel pen pocket. I just usually keep some things like um, washi tapes, uh, business cards, and such like that. More things to kind of stick it down in my um, sketchbook and notebooks and such like that. Um, I love just everywhere I go find, I'm a stationary junkie. And so finding things like um, sticky notes that I can glue down. And this is the black ones that I found are perfect for like those glittery gel pens and such like that. So that's kind of what hangs out here in the front, as well as I've got here attached um, some binder clips to hold my sketchbook down. If I ever, you know, usually I'm not one that will go out and like sketch on location, but I use this to just kind of hold down the pages. So this guy will go, and I'm going to move this. Um, I'm also taking with me the, this is my flower palette. Um, I just like the ability to be able to mix in here and have a large mixing area because, you know, the, a hotel room will usually have a desk or, for instance, at my son's, I can just sit at his kitchen table. So I'll have this. And with that guy, I am taking my Lucas palette, just my normal one. And I actually um, went in this morning and refilled some of the pans that were getting a little bit low that I had some extra on hand. So this guy will go with me. I found this and it kind of bothers me because I did not take the time to write down the colors of, and I can tell just from looking at it that it's all Daniel Smith watercolors. Um, so I was just going to kind of play around with it some to figure out the colors and kind of make a bit of a, a color chart type thing so I can refill the colors because I also found, and this is, this one won't go with me, but I have this guy, and it literally is a Daniel Smith mystery palette, and oh my gosh, I never wrote down what any of the colors are. Like, there are some, the side of the pan, this one says, like, nickel, azel, yellow. Um, I don't know why or what is even in this palette, but I do use it a lot to just throw color onto something where I really don't necessarily care about like naming the color or painting pages or anything like that. For instance, in, let me see if I can, I'm about to make this video so long because now I'm rambling on this stuff, but these pages, I will literally just throw uh, random bits of color um, onto these type pages. And so I like to use this because then I really, I guess I don't really need to necessarily know, you know, for reference, but it would be nice to um, actually know the color. So I want to see if I can play around with this one and try to, as best I can, figure out some of the colors um, that are in this guy. So I'm going to take that along with me just for a bit of playing around with color. And speaking of playing around with color, I've got this, um, it's a reflections um, tin and there's 24 watercolor postcards. And um, I'm thinking I will carry these around to do some test with that mystery palette um, and to just kind of see what I can come up with and um, test out some other colors here in my Lucas palette for a video that I want to do. So I'm going to bring this guy with me. And I'm also going to bring the Cezanne pencils with me, but I didn't want to bring my giant um, 
120 set pin because then we're just getting I'm I just would literally end up packing my entire studio so I'm just gonna bring this set of 24 that I borrowed from a friend so that I would not have to carry my entire giant um set of 120 or 70 I think I do have the 121 um so that's what I'm gonna carry around or carry with and then this is where I should say this is where things get a little bit hectic um I am also going to bring my water cup and this one is it's old it's one of those Faber Castell um collapsible ones and um because I'm not working on anything crazy I just usually bring this and because I'm in a hotel I can just back and forth to change out the water so this one will work plenty fine um geez so I am almost almost done with this sketchbook and Heavens forbid Ophelia runs out of pages in her um, sketchbook. So I am going to bring this one along and hopefully try to finish up the pages while I'm there. But then um, I've got this guy and I am almost certain it is a Strathmore. It's like a drawing kind um but what's ugh, I guess this one is proving to be a little bit difficult for me because the paper will literally only hold um dry media so the watercolors will um and I'm not sure if you can even see that on the back just the slightest amount of watercolor swatching it will kind of ghost or it will really, really, really damage the paper. And I'm trying to find one that I thought, I don't know why I, I do know why I have so many papers shoved in here. Um, I am testing out some different papers and I didn't necessarily want to bring entire pads of the papers because I only need a small amount. So I've got some um, Legion Stonehenge white paper um, some Strathmore Bristol as well as some Creative Mark Bristol paper, some Strathmore drawing paper. Um, I know I had some other kinds. Uh, this Arches and it's a BFK Rives, Reeves paper that I literally had cut or chopped it down to be smaller to fit. Um, and then I've got some Soho Bristol paper. And I'll put pictures up of the actual pads of paper. Um, but so, yes, I'm just testing out these. This is a Legion Linux cotton that I'm going to take with. And hold, please. I needed to test out a couple of papers. So this is the Legion Linux cotton, the Soho bristle. This one is the Kansen, and it's for pastels. I want to test it for... Um, color pencil work. So, um, that's why I have all of these tiny scraps of paper shoved in here because I didn't necessarily want to carry the entire pads of paper. Um, so I'm, I've got this sketchbook, but this is also why I have this so that I can test some watercolors and not worry about him. Um, uh, what do you call it? Flooding through or soaking through and smearing the back of regular sketchbook pages because you can see I just kind of tape in watercolor paper whenever I need to use it and this was from another video um, and so that's why I'm going to bring those extra pieces of paper because anytime I want to do something with watercolor ugh, I hate it because I do love a sketchbook where you can do every single thing in it. Um, but now I feel like I'm just too far in and I don't, I mean, I've got to use the sketchbook. So we're going to use it. And um, I have these guys. 
circle templates and like square templates. And I think they're for drafting or for like architects and such like that. Um, but I just literally use them for the sheep. This guy is also going to go with, this is where, oh my gosh. I, you know, one of these days I'm going to learn to just kind of focus and bring it together. But until then, Ophelia just likes the things. But many of you may or may not necessarily know, I am one jillion percent a fountain pen, absolute fountain pen nerd. And with being a fountain pen nerd, um, my fountain pens stay in this pouch. And this is usually what I'd take to work with me every day. And um, I guess it would have been last year or maybe two, three years ago during our, it would have been maybe three years ago, two or three years ago during our volleyball season, um, I lost one of my really nice fountain pens. So now I have the rule where I only bring along, um, like I do love my Twisby, my, my Twisbees. Um, but I usually only bring along <clears throat> Twisbees and Twisby fountain pens that can easily be replaced if something happens. So, these guys live in this rickshaw uh, pen bag. And one of these days, let me know if you ever would want me to do a, like a fountain pen um, or show you what's in my collection because... Ugh, Okay, I do have a lot. Psh, don't tell me. But anywho, um, so I keep this to address my envelopes because as a fountain pen nerd, I have met some incredible fountain pen friends, which is where these guys come in. And I'll show you. Um, this just becomes an entire situation. But this box is filled with um, little collage bits, which is a little bit different from the one I'm going to show you in just a moment. So this one has little collage bits that I will turn into little tiny collage, collage bits. And these little tiny collage bits, these little tiny guys go right down here and I'll usually just glue them here for my pen pal letter and so this box of collage bits gets made into little tiny um bits of collage remember i have i have i have issues so these guys go on to uh my letters for my fountain pen friends and so you know i have my paper and um, letters to respond to, but then also I keep this notebook where I keep what's currently inked as far as my pens go. That just helps me to remember what ink to tell, write down that, um, oh, and see, here's, here's one. So um, I keep that little tiny notebook shoved in there to tell me or to remind me of what ink is in what pen. So that is why um, these guys usually sit in the front of this pouch or this pouch. And the fountain pens stay there. And this little piece I found somewhere and I just thought it would be kind of cool to um, collage into something. So that all must go and then finally it's a whole mess but this is um journal sketchbook type fodder a couple of episodes i did these painted type papers and so i will actually let's just do that now I will usually take my stash and kind of, I don't know, shimmy it a bit and literally just rip off a bunch 
like so. And I can leave this part at home because I don't really need a lot for um, headers and such like that. Just adding a pop of color in my sketchbook and journals. But this little package of paper has all kinds of stuff. And so I just kind of keep it all in here and I can literally spread it out um, when I am working in my journal. And one final thing that I always bring is um, it's just, I've rolled it up, but a piece of sketch paper or like you cover your desk. I just get these pieces of butcher paper and um, I keep it rolled up kind of like so. And this is what I will use to cover my the desk in the hotel rooms or like at my son's kitchen table so that, you know, I don't make any messes or I can use it to kind of glue down and stuff like that. And this in all of its glory is what's gonna be heading off with me when I hit the road. Thank you for watching guys. Just as I was um, finishing everything off, it dawned on me that um, I found two things. One, these, um, it's the Daniel Smith and it was the 238 swatch cards. And so I figured this would be most excellent in helping me to uh, figure out the colors in that little mystery palette. So I want to bring this guy along. And then I found this sketchbook that I guess I started back in February of 2021. And it's it's a Hannah Mule, Hannah Mule sketchbook. But the thing that I noticed is it's excellent for watercolor. The paper is really, really good. Like, you can't even tell where I swatched out some golden core paints that I had. So, I am going to bring this along as well as the dot cards. And then... I know this will not all fit in frame, but whew, what's great is, and I think this bag is technically called like a, a boat bag, but this has the, like the most sturdy construction. And so everything, um, no matter how much I shove into it, everything just fits very, very well. Ugh. Everything is here. And so, um, luckily, you know, I, I could shovel things to get it to zip, but again, I am not, um, flying or anything like that. I can just kind of sit it in my trunk or in my back seat. Um, I'm just now realizing that the only thing that I'm missing is a little tiny spray bottle, which I will find that and get it in here. And with that... I sign off. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.